This is a collection in Nierstein, near Frankfurt. It's a paleontology museum here that has been collected over 70 years by one man and his son and their friends, and they've collected some brilliant material. Just beautiful stuff, giant ammonites, lots of trackways, ichthyosaurs, crocodiles. I'm going to show you some of their collection. In fact, right here is a sea cow, there's a manatee. Oligocene age, I think. There's the lower jaw, the mandible, there you see the teeth in the jaw. What a lovely specimen. But if you come with me, let's take a look in here. So they've collected all around the world at various different locations. And in fact, here is a whole bunch of Scottish material. So all of this is Devonian age, so the age of fishes. We've got various different species and the stuff is really, really well preserved. In fact, you can see many of the, the scales in here. All throughout its little head up there, the fish's head, and then its body right down to the tip of the tail. Gorgeous stuff. This one's a really nice one as well. Here's the head, lots of scales right down to the tail fin, the caudal fin. Now, let's go this way. We've got lots of trilobites here, so we've got a bit of a walk through time. We've got the Cambrian, so the Cambrian explosion of life. Lots and lots of trilobites in here. Walking through to the Ordovician. Some very nice orthocones here. Again, collected from various sites around the world. Move through into the Silurian. You've got some nice sea scorpions here, Eurypterids. That's a good one from a place called Logan Water in Scotland. It's actually a site that I've never visited because I think now it's inaccessible but I have studied specimens from there and so it's quite cool to see one here in this museum. Move through again, Devonian here, lots of fishes into the Carboniferous, the age of plants, corals here, lots more plants on this side. This is a nice preservation, this one as well. Really good, but if I walk into this room, so this room, this is where it's really spectacular. This thing on the wall is a shark, and obviously sharks are cartilaginous, but look at the preservation of this. Here. Exceptional, exceptional preservation. And this bit in here, you think it's actually stomach stones, so they're gastroliths of this shark, which is super rare to be found in sharks. This is a new discovery. Now if you pan down to this, all of these in here are early amphibians. Many of these are things called Brangiosaurus. You've got, just look again at the exceptional preservation. You've got the, the body outline here. You've got, here's the head, you can see where the eyes would be. Two arms, body outline, legs, right through to the tail. This is another good one. Makes an interesting story. You've got this leaf here, and right at the bottom, are lots of tiny little Brachiosaurus where apparently water was flowing this way. And because the water's flowing this way, and the Brachiosaurus were hiding behind a leaf, they all stayed there. I mean, sadly, of course, they all died, but they were all preserved. It's a pretty cool story. And again, more, <coughs> more amphibians here, some bigger ones. And the, in fact, I need to say, let's. Let's look at this one. So this thing here is really cool. So we can't ignore the fish. So there's a nice fish at the top there. Again, you can see the scales glistening. That's really neat. But look at this. This is an amphibian, and you're looking at the underside. But look at the head. The head is basically being decapitated. But if I can reach in, in here, it's missing the right side. And the thinking is, is that it was bit by something. Clearly the animal died. But then right at the back, I can just about reach in here, is poop. And it's indicating where the colon would have been. And you've got another piece of poop here and a piece of poop there. So possibly when this animal was bit, it was squeezed really hard and perhaps the poop has come out. Or maybe after it had died, 
the poop had then come out after buildup of gases. Regardless, it's a really quite nasty but interesting story behind that specimen. There's also in here lots of nice tracks, early reptile tracks from the Permian as well. In fact, yeah, that's quite a good one. See them trackways. Uh, 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 uh. More tracks here. Lots of blocks. Uh huh. That's that's a really good trackway. Look at that. You've got the positive and the negative as well. So that's a negative impression. And there's a positive. So imagine this animal's walking along, and the lighting really picks it up. Really nice. And then all this stuff's local and collected by his father and son team over 73 years. That's in here. Lots more beautiful plants. These are really nice ferns. Again, Permian, Permian material. You can just see the detail though in this stuff. Really, really nice. Look at that tip of the leaf there. And then through into this last room. Here. <coughs> More recent material. All this stuff from the tertiary. It's a fossil shark's teeth. <laughs> this is a cool story. This shark's teeth in there, that one I'm pointing to right there, that shark's teeth was found in a really unusual place there <laughs> in the roof of this building. Very, very bizarre, but the people who were putting the roof together and collected clay and, and weirdly inside the clay was this shark's teeth and they found it inside the, on, on the roof of that building. There's one way to find a fossil. And there are lots more interesting things here. This is a nice one at the top, another sea cow. And often with these sea cows they, they lose their skulls due to disarticulation and obviously during taphonomy. Uh, how the animal sort of breaks apart, but here you can see the skull is actually still with the specimen and the reason for that is, I don't think I'm going to reach this one, but you might see there's a rib sticking in the skull. So potentially during taphonomic disarticulation, perhaps one of the ribs had stuck inside the skull and trapped it so it actually stayed together with the specimen.